I? Have you seen Ben today? No, why? When did you see him last? Yesterday. Lou! Lou! Thanks. I've looked everywhere for him. I don't know where he can be. When did you realize he was missing? This morning, early on. We had a few words last night, you see, and, and Ben took himself off to bed. Anyway, I went in with a cup of tea for him this morning, and there's no sign of him. The bed hasn't been slept in, his bag's gone, some clothes and things. Did you phone the school? No show. I don't know where he can be. This isn't like Ben. Well, not from what I know, then. Seems like a happy enough lad to me. He has got one or two problems at the moment. It wouldn't be right for me to see. Have you tried Claire? I've called around a couple of times. There's nobody there. Oh, my dad is in hospital. So I gather. What about Terry? He's in London somewhere. I haven't got a number for him, though. What do the police think? I haven't called them. Why not? You must. I know, but not yet. They will help you find him, you know. It's not as simple as that. Ben got into trouble a couple of years back and... I don't think it would look too good for him if I involved the police. And what if he doesn't turn up? Then I'll call them. But only as a last resort. You can stay for tea if you like. No, I'm expected home later. Well, Mum won't mind. I think she might. I don't think she likes us. She does. I just get the impression, like, she doesn't want us to be around. It's not like that. <laughs> After the... What are you doing there? Playing hide and seek. Out. No need to be like that. I said out. I'm going. I think he's one really does like you. He's really nice. I'm going. Well, mission accomplished. They didn't suspect anything. What do you think they might do? Do you think they'll snog? Ugh. I hope not. You better find out what I'm saying. Is the recorder ready? Hang on. Ready. Mum says you seem like a really sensible girl. Oh, great. That makes her sound dead boring. No, she didn't mean it in that way. She said you can come around as often as you like, but there's only one rule. We have to stay down here. Well, does that help? But it's different for Eve. She's got them right around her little finger. Sport brat. <laughs> Never stopped her boyfriend going upstairs. Ben's in some sort of trouble. Well, what do you think he's done? Lou asked us if I'd seen him. Bet he's done a runner. Well, why? <laughs> Do you think she really is his sister? That's what she said. Hey, what's going on with Ben? Can I have your attention, please? This is important. What's going on? What's happened to Ben? Give me a chance and I'll explain. It seems that Ben's run away. It's probably nothing serious. And we're sure he'll come back. But if you do have any idea where he is, you should come forward. You probably think you're being loyal to a friend. But you're wrong. It's vital we find him. Honestly, Kenny, we don't know. Okay. Does anybody have any idea where he might be? What about Claire's? No, I don't think he'll go there. Thanks. I've been over there anyway. Well, he was here yesterday. How did he seem? Right up. Thanks. Look, I've got something to tell you. Oh, here we go. What? I knew this was too good to be true. Is this why he tells you've got another girlfriend in London? No. If Mum and Dad had been a bit worried for you, it's not that I don't like you or anything. It's just come as a bit of a shock. What has? Me and you. I've never been that forgot before. Really? But the way you're so cool and laid back and everything, well, we all thought Well, that... you were wrong. It took ages for me to ask you out. I would never have done it before. I kept thinking, what if she says no? I've done enough for. If anyone ever finds out I've never been out of a girl before, they'd all laugh. <laughs> Daft thing. Is it broken? I think they've just stopped talking. What do you think we should do with the evidence? It's a bit boring. Yeah, it is. But that's my brother for you. I think we should wait a bit longer and collect some more evidence.
What have you to say for yourself about all this? About what? Are you stupid? Ben going missing? It's got nothing to do with me. Look, if it wasn't for you, you'd probably still be here. He hasn't just think about anybody else's feelings. Why were you self worried about how he is? But why did you muck him about? I didn't. You had to be honest with him from the start, about who you were. Then it wouldn't have been such a shock for him. I didn't ask him to chat me up. He knew what you were doing. She's got a nerve showing her face around here. I feel a bit sorry for her. After what you did to Ben? I don't understand you. I really don't. Lou's gonna give Ben half an hour. If he fails to show, we go looking for him. Me and the girls will look around some of the places he hangs out. Could I be with your search party? Well, to be honest, I don't know. I don't have a problem with it, but some of the others might. Hang on. What do you think about Geordie joining our search party? Sure, OK. Yeah. Aren't you? What's her name, sister? Yes. She's the one who made Ben go missing in the first place. Oh, come on, be fair. Your brother does things you don't like, but we don't take it out on you. True. All right, then you can come. Thanks. This looks like fun. What am I missing? Claire, where have you been? School. Went to see my dad. Why? What's wrong? Never been that forgotten. What's this? Spike it. I'm sure it might come in handy finding Ben. Get real. I can't believe it. I never thought he'd go and do this. Why have been so horrible to him? Me and my big mouth. This is all my fault. Well, actually, Claire. Oh, no. Should we set off then? You're Claire. Hi, I'm Sarah. Oh, yeah. I just want to tell you my side of things because I'm sure you've been told all sorts of lies. What? I didn't try to get off a bed at the club night. Who's the one that went after me? To be fair, he didn't know who I was. And who are you? Your sister. Well, half sister. I was dead curious when I found out about him. And when I heard he was a member here, I just wanted to see what he looked like. What a letdown. I feel really sorry for you. He might be good looking, but you can't trust him. I wouldn't lose any sleep worrying about him. Well, thanks for that. It's always nice to know what's going on behind your back. Did you not tell her? Wait, Claire! Claire, wait! Why didn't you tell us? We were going to. When? Next Christmas? We thought you had enough to worry about already. Yeah, well, maybe I do, but you still should have told us. I came here looking for Ben. And you know why? To say I was sorry? Me apologising for my behaviour? To him? I feel so stupid. You shouldn't. Well, I do. And I've got a good mind to go home and forget about this stupid search party. Not again. I didn't even know Ben had a sister. Look, I'm sorry, I thought you knew. Don't you think you've done enough damage? I didn't mean to. Right. Stay away. I mean it. Say, if you want a drink, you'll have to use the machine in the other room. What are you talking about? Achille, he's closed the drinks bar for today. I'm not interested in a stupid drink. No? Do you mind if I take a seat? Look, if you're going to give me a lecture about how horrible I was to one of your mates, don't bother. Ben's not really a mate. This is a first. I know how you must be feeling. Doubt it. No, I've sat in a few rooms on my own, wishing that things could be different, but... I'm not really bothered about this place. Or what the people think of me. I could leave here and not come back again. It makes no difference to me. Then why are you still here then? I didn't want this to happen. I didn't think he'd run away. Well, of course you didn't let him see that. You're the only one that does. Everybody else thinks I'm horrible. I can see what they're thinking. It doesn't take a genius. They hate me. Most of them are okay. And I mean, they'll give you another chance. Doubt it. Well, I've talked to you. I can't say that you're all right. I don't know what to do. Well, we could form our own search party. If they say that you're taking part, then they'll know you want to help out. It's a start, what you got to lose. Matt can catch you. He knows where we're going. Well, what's he doing? Nicky, we can't wait any longer. Where have you been? You're not bringing her. We want to find Ben, not drive him away. It's OK. We'll form our own team. The more search parties that are, the better. Come on. 
tank. Nicky, will you slow down? Well, what's he playing at? I know it's a bit rich. You'd rather be with her than me. Wish you can have him. I'm sick of him. What? Fine, thanks. Well, you can't dust down here, mate. You'll be moved on. Do you know what I just said? Yeah, I heard you. Go on, then. You deaf or what? I'm waiting for someone. Oh, yeah? Who? Well, why do you want to know? Because I've got friends that live here, that's why. They've been broken into twice. Yeah, well, I'm not a burglar. No? So what's in here, then, eh? Get off the mic! Sit down. So they're from Lee, then? Yeah, he rang as soon as he got back. Did you wave him off at the station? I did. Oh, but it was dead romantic. No, yeah, not really. <laughs> He's not really the romantic type blame, Mike, is he? Well, he sent us a letter last year to meet him in here. In that dingy place? Well, he lit a trail of candles all the way up the stairs. Oh. Oh, was at the top when you got there, then? He was. And the sun was setting. Oh, I bet it was lovely. <laughs> yeah, he has his moments. He went all the way to the top of there to see the sun setting. And you got no present. <laughs> what? I told you. What? I told you they were mine. Hey, what's in that front bit? Look, just leave it. I've told you I'm not a thief. I'm just waiting for Terry. Who's a mate of mine? What do you want with him? It's none of your business. Well, I can make it my business. Wait there. Now, I'd watch it if I was you like this. Someone's sitting around your door. Hey, Terry! What are you doing here? You know. Yeah, it's me, brother. Oh. Sorry, mate. You can't be too careful around here, can you? I'll leave you to it. Jeez. I don't believe it. How'd you get you? Coach. Well, why didn't you let us know you were coming? Oh, Lou does know, doesn't she? Oh, Ben. Do you want a coffee? Yeah. Have you got anything to eat as well? I'm starving. Well, I... Uh, disease, but... I think we're a bit old. It's all This is great. Yeah, right. At least it's your own place. What are you doing here, Ben? I wanted to see you. That's all. So, you've skived off school. Lou doesn't even know where you are. I didn't come down here for you to give us a hard time, you know. So why did you? I've told you. This is me you're talking to, Ben. I know you. Yeah. And I thought I knew you. But I'm beginning to wonder. What? Stella? Who? I can always tell when you're lying. You know about her. Our sister. The one I didn't know anything about. How'd you find out? She told us. <laughs> what? You met Stella? How come? Where'd you meet? What, you like, it's nice. Will you shut up? Am I the only one who didn't know? How come? Even you didn't tell us. And you're the only one left I thought I could trust. Oh, you can. How? When you've been lying, it was all this time. Oh, ben. <laughs> Take all that makeup off. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's OK. Hi, Matt. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thanks, yeah. Good. Four women and no shopping bags, that's a first. <laughs> oh, we're not actually shopping. We're looking for a friend who's gone. Come on, Nat. We should go. Yeah, we should go. Bye. Bye. You shouldn't have said anything. Lou doesn't want the police to know. No, I'm sorry, I forgot. Wait, Brett, slow down. What's the matter? Can't stand the pace. No, but if we're going this fast, it means we're not looking for them. You won't be around here. How do you know? I just do. Ben's a mate and we don't hang around around this area. So why are we wasting our time? Because we're going somewhere he might be. I don't know how I'm going to put up with you. Put it this way. She prefers it to the way you treat her. So are you going to tell us how you know you're a very friendly policeman then, what? Will you drop it? I don't know him. Look, I reported my purse stolen and he took my statement. And I don't suppose you noticed the fact that he was dropped dead. Gorgeous. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. <laughs> but no, you know what I mean. She's a dark horse, isn't she? Oh, she's got lame. She doesn't want anybody else. Thank you. Mm -hmm. no. And he remembers your name. That's about the chair. I thought, well, if your friend really is missing, you should let the police know. Here's a number for the station and my mobile number. Oh, thanks. That's really kind of you. No problem. Best of luck. 
Oh, thanks. That's really kind of you. <laughs> he was just being friendly. Yes, very friendly. Oh, Jay. And his one. Ooh. Leave us alone. <laughs> Come on, we've got to find Ben. Well, I realised Lou knew. Well, you probably know and all. We're all the way down on the coach last night, I kept thinking. Nah, Terry would have told us. We'll share everything. Or I thought we did. I wanted to tell you. Then why didn't you? Because social services asked us not to. They didn't let me know until I was 18. It's the law. And what is what the law said ever bothered you? Since I realised that breaking it only leads to trouble. You should have told us. I wanted to. I did. It was weird. Knowing I had a sister all this time. I will think how I felt. I thought we weren't going to be any more secrets. I'm sorry. So you should be. What's the matter, Ben? Everybody lets us down. No, they don't. The ones I love do. They always leave us. Why? What did I do? Nothing. Mom, Dad, Granddad and you. Oh, I had to get away. You know that. And you starting everything. I still think about you. Every day. At least you've still got Lou. She's got Adam and Luke now. She doesn't want me. Nobody does. It isn't like that. It's not. Any luck? No, nothing. He picks up some lovely bargains along the way. How could you? He finds it dead easy. When I'm worried, I shop. Do you want drink? Yeah, go on, Tar. Any news? Oh, you mean you're bothered? Of course I am. No, nothing. Well, we've looked everywhere, so... Nobody's seen him. Obviously. Is he doing that to wind me up or what? I don't know. But it's working, so don't let him see. What's that? Spike it. Oh, well, that's really useful. Not. It has its uses. It took ages for me to answer that. I would never have done it before. I kept thinking, what if she says no? Do not. <laughs> if anyone ever finds out I've never been out of the car before, they'd all laugh. Is that interesting in a mobile phone? Go away. Yeah, you're right. It does have its uses. Thanks. When was the last time you had something to eat? This morning. I'll nip out and get with something proper. Thanks. Is that my phone? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not for me. You've got to ring Lou. No, I can't. You have to. I should have been worrying about you all day. I'm serious, Ben. You've got to talk to her. What if she rings the police? Which she probably already has done. <sighs> You're in trouble. We both are. You know I've got to keep my noses clean. I'm not going back. What are you going to do? I'll stay down here with you. You're doing your own thing. I don't see why I can't. Don't be so stupid. It'll be great. Look around you. I'm not doing my own thing. I'm just doing anything, just to get by. It's no way to live. We'll manage. Ben, you've got to face Lou. Or Stella. Or whatever it is you're trying to get away from. Look, I've been there. I've tried running away, and it gets you nowhere. I've got to go home. Do you know? Well, does she? What? Does Laura have a mobile phone? I think so. Yeah, she does. Right. No, no. How much for the phone? 45 quid. I've only got a tenner. I don't know. It didn't cost them anything. It was buy one, get one free. Now you tell us. What was Joe laughing at before? Something my Daisy Bob said. We taped it. He's in love. <laughs> Can I hear it? Yeah. It's gone. What? We'll set a place for Ben, because we know he'll be back. I hope so. Oh, I'm sorry. Come into the wee bed. Lads, I think I better call the police. But it's only a saucer. I know what I mean about Ben. Hello? Ben! Well, where are you? 
Hey, I've been worried sick about you. Is he coming home? The lads want to know if you're coming home. Oh. Well, uh, I'm walking home with you, like. I don't mind. Thanks for today. No, oh, no, it's my pleasure. I'd better be getting off. It's OK, you like Nicky. I should be getting off anyway. You'll come back, though. Yeah, I will. Little girlfriend gone home? Eh? I saw you flirt with her. No way. Don't act the innocent with me, Matt. You knew what you were doing. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, it worked. You've made me look really stupid in front of everyone. You know what? Sometimes you're just like your brother. And what's that supposed to mean? Thinking that the world just revolves around you. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Listen to yourself. I was only trying to be friendly with Stella. She doesn't know anyone. Nobody wants to know her the way she's gone on. We all make mistakes. I felt sorry for her. I saw her on her own and I knew how she felt. You should have left her. She's trouble. It's all right for you. You don't have any problem fitting in. You don't know what it's like. What are you talking about? I don't know you anymore. Hey, I'm talking to you! Come back. We can both go together. I can't. Lou would put you up. We could find somewhere for you. I've got to give it a go here. Yeah? I've spent too much time giving up and running away. I've got to make this work. Anyway, I'm on early shift in the morning. What would people do if they found out the breakfast burgers weren't ready? Keep in touch. Yeah, I will. Oh, yeah. Some sandwiches. And there's a drink there and all. Can't have you going hungry again, can we? I'll be thinking about you. Yeah, me too. I'll try and keep in touch with Stella. Now you know about her. I mean, she has family. Yeah. Well, she can't be that bad, can she? No. Go on. You'll go mad if you miss your coach. Terry? Yeah? That's you not as bad as that. What are you on about? You're an angel. Oh, go on, get in your coach. Matt! Look. I'm sorry if you thought there was something going on between me and Stella, I should have thought. It's not just about that. What? You're shutting us out. You don't talk to us. You're not interested in the same things anymore. It's like you're a stranger. It's not true. Yes, it is, everyone says. Who? Everyone. What you've been talking about is behind me back. What you've been saying? What's up, Matt? Never mind that, what they said. They should mind their own business. You've really changed. It's you. You're the one that's changed, and I don't know why I bother with you. Please, Matt, man, just talk to us. We can sort it out, please. I want to know. to Nikki and next week on CBBC you can see Biker Grow 5 o'clock Tuesday and Thursday. Now stay with us, we've got a fantastic prize giveaway here on CBBC. Biker.